Hey everybody, Ali Craig here for Soulfire.life. And on this week's episode of Soul Target, we are talking about clearing the distractions. How many distractions do we have a day? It's not even thousands anymore. I'm pretty sure we're up to tens of thousands between just family and kids and life and oh, this crazy thing called social media and work and email and everything flipping being instant. I don't know about you, but many times I think, gosh, what was it like to do business in the 70s? Seems like it would have been calmer because everyone didn't want everything instant. You had time to create space between projects. You had time to just breathe. You didn't have to see an email and then get the panic attack of, oh my gosh, what now, right? Well, as much as those technologies are benefiting us on many levels. They're also creating many distractions to us. I mean, how often do you hear your phone buzz and you stop whatever you're doing and you go look at it? I mean, even my cats know that. Literally, if I have my phone in my hands and my cats want their, their attention, they will either bite it or try to knock it out of my hands because they want my full attention on them. If my cats understand this, guys, what other areas in our life understand this? And I'm not just even talking about relationships. If what we give is what we get, then are we really giving our full attention to our work, our project, whatever is most important to us, everything we're really focusing on? Or are we kind of half-ass focusing on it? Are we looking at distractions and kind of focusing on the target as well? won't work that way. If your eyes are over here and you're trying to aim over here, it does not work that way. So how do we clear out distractions? Well, here's a couple of practical ways that I'm not saying are easy because we have to retrain the patterns. Right now, at this point, we have trained ourselves to feel uncomfortable without the distractions. The distractions are actually very comforting to us because they become habitual. They make us not to focus on the things we don't want to focus on. So they're really great distractions, but we don't need so many in our lives. Number one, make them difficult. Make it difficult for you to get to your social media accounts. Make it difficult so that you don't just accidentally jump on Facebook. Turn off all the freaking notifications. It's amazing how you will never go on a platform or open up an app if you don't have a notification that says, oh, someone tried to message you. And just let everyone know that, hey, I'm not around everywhere. You know, the kind of farce of society is, is that we all want to be influencers on some level. But the truth is, is that you can't be an influencer if you are everywhere. Because if you're everywhere, then you're just an everybody. So minimize the distractions to help you increase your ability to truly focus on your work and I'm going to bet with pretty darn certainty that if you begin to minimize your distractions, your work isn't just going to get better. The targets that you're going after, your soul targets, aren't just going to occur quicker. But because you don't have these other outside forces happening, everything is going to work to your advantage, stronger, faster, and more importantly, to your best advantage.